This week on Latter-day News. Temple construction workers become miners. I've been working in the laboratory to try to create our own heart-lung machine and make it work. Well, then I went to the patient and I said, we need to partition the heart so it'll function normally. And later, President Nelson explains his ties to the University of Utah as their virtual commencement speaker. But first, the headlines. And when I say having a gut feeling, um, you know, I'm, I'm a, a man of faith and I can tell you, I, I knew without a doubt that that man needed to be alive for some reason. And there was something taking me there to get him out of there. He's got a purpose in life and, and I look forward to getting to know him. Former NFL player and church member Brandon Baer pulled a man from his truck seconds before it burst into flames. Baer witnessed the accident and called 911 after hearing someone inside. He knew he had to save them. It's gonna be hard enough getting there. What sense that make? Coming all the way back. So don't come back. Just survive. The film His Name is Greenflake will premiere as a virtual watch party and benefit concert this Saturday at 6 p.m. The concert will raise money to help build a monument to black pioneers. The concert will feature actors from the movie such as the Bonner family, Alex Boyer, and many more. Well, I tell myself it's because of my job. You know, I, it's this intense schedule, and I've, I've been all over these places, and I've, I've been to the slums in Sri Lanka, I've been to the slums in North Salt Lake, and I've seen unspeakable things and been with people that are in things that you cannot describe with words. TEDx BYU celebrates 10 years of TED Talks this year. TEDx is an independently organized TED Talk. To observe this achievement, BYU has released the top 10 talks of the past decade on YouTube. I just like the way I feel when I'm here. Everyone is super inviting and friendly. The church announced a Gathering Places pilot program for young single adults. Gathering places are defined as a location, such as an institute building or meeting house where YSAs can participate in gospel learning and service and social activities. Watch Ammon on his perilous mission to the land of King Lamoni, where one true believer, Abish, has been waiting all her life to share her beliefs with others. And finally, watch the movie feature Ammon and King Lamoni on Living Scriptures Streaming. This film from Like in the Scriptures brings your family singing, dancing, and comedy with a relatable message. And that's the headlines. And now a Latter-day News Temple update for the Salt Lake City Temple. Construction crews became miners as they burrowed 180 feet underneath North Temple Street. The idea was to construct a tunnel that connected it to the conference center parking garage. The tunnel will give temple patrons easy access to the temple as they park their cars at the conference center and take the short walk underground to what will be the new temple entrance. This tunnel will give the end user a large benefit in being able to park in the conference center garage. Aside from the tunnel, construction workers continue the earthquake system, restoration to stonework, and work on the East Plaza landscaping. The University of Utah, with the approval of its Board of Trustees, presents Russell M. Nelson with the honorary degree of Doctor of Science, with all the rights, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations, Dr. Nelson. And now Latter-day News ends with the virtual commencement address from the newest honorary Doctor of Science, Russell M. Nelson. And when I was in high school, I made the decision that I wanted to be a doctor. And he was disappointed, but he said, your mother and I will do everything we can to help you. President Nelson's video address to the students covered everything, like getting his medical degree from the U of U, performing the first open heart surgery in Utah, becoming the president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He also talked cheerfully about meeting his wife on campus. I had been in a freshman play. Gail Plummer came around and said, I want you to be in the musical that we're putting on the campus. I said, Gail, I can't do it. I'm a pre-med student and I'm, I'm going to study. So he wouldn't take no for an answer. Two or three times he said, I want you to be in this play. You'd have the lead role. I said, I can't do it. He said, well, just come to rehearsal. Okay. So I walked in Kingsbury Hall. There was a beautiful soprano singing. She was stunning. She was gorgeous. 
I said, Gail, who is that? That's Dancel White. She's the one you'd be singing with in this play. I said, okay, you're on. <laughs> Denzel and Russell were then married in 1945. Finally, President Nelson gives some advice to the graduating class. It's well to excel. So do your work well, do it as well as anyone else can, and then it all equalizes out. Some people like to do one thing, some people like to do another, and is it a good thing we're all different? Next week on Latter-day News. Yeah, Ethiopia's Secretary General of Interreligious Council visits the church and welfare square. Come back every Friday for more Latter-day News.